have a more succulent, flowing feeling to it. I got a galaxy fabric. <laughs> awesome. I was playing Galaxy 2 earlier today. I think I'm in, the, I'm in like the middle of my 24th run of that game. Ever. Like, oh my god. It hasn't even been two years since that game came out yet, has it? And I'm already done like uh, 24 or 23 runs of that game. That's absolutely insanity personified. Alright, stellar way for Buster. Defeat 30 enemies in one minute. Mm -hmm. 14 minutes and 20 seconds. Is there there's something significant about that number 1420, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> then again, there's pretty much something significant about every number. Oh god. Dealing with the stupid Russian guys that are just gonna keep respawning? Is that the thing here? It was like the snowmen in that one other level. I guess so. You guys just gotta use their spears against them. Or you could be stupid like me and just try to use their own bodies against them. Alright, here we go. No, don't. T I grabbed the spear, but I destroyed it. Dude, I'm, su I'm sucking the big one here. And I know you can like bounce these off of the off of like certain if the if the platforms are slanted right, you can actually like bounce these projectiles off of them and make awesome combos. But I am not pulling that off with much aplomb here. So I can still get it if I'm if I just if I stop being stupid about this. Okay, five more enemies. Oh uh, crap. Dude, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. Oh my god, I lost. I was, I was at 29, I think. What can I say? That was entirely my fault that I lost it. I just wasn't using, utilizing the strategies that they intended for me to utilize, and I failed as a result. Ho hum. Oh fun, fun. Fun. This is fun. I don't know why I was about to say the f word there. That would have been so superfluous, especially since I'm so relaxed right now. I'm actually going to start, uh... I know this is going to be really stupid, and it's probably not even going to hold true for very long. But I'm going to start trying to cut down, almost, like, eliminate cussing from my videos. And it's not because, like, I think it really offends anyone on the internet at this point. I'm, like, I'm sure it does, like, some people. And some people really don't need to hear that stuff, and they're like, dude, it's so superfluous and stuff. But it's, it's for another reason entirely, that it's absolutely redonkulous and so just desperate of me. That if I thought I'd be so embarrassed to even tell you guys what it is. I just... Wow, I sucked even more this time. I only got, like, 19. Yeah, I, I don't even know if I should tell you. I've told you guys everything else, though. So like, all these other embarrassing things about me. So I don't know why I wouldn't tell you this. Basically, the reason that I don't want to cuss anymore is because, um... <laughs> is because I recently discovered that, uh... Sydney doesn't like it at all. She's like, it's like, it's very sinful to her. So it's just like, well, if I want to be held in a high regard by her, then I better stop that shit. That stuff. <laughs> Man, that would have been so just, uh, anti climactified if I'd actually done that cuss there. And for those who don't know, because you might be new to my videos, uh, Sydney is the girl I'm in love with. Have been for probably over 10 years by this point. I'm not even sure. I don't even feel like doing the math in my head right now. Oh yeah, but that's ne it's never going to happen between me and her. Because, just because it's, it's not. It's hard to explain. It's a very difficult to situation to describe. And I'm sure any of you who follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you've heard plenty about it there. You don't need to hear about it more in my videos. Certainly not. Oh, do I have it this time? Maybe. I did! Yay! You defeated 30 enemies! Doesn't it normally just say, like, Kirby wins up there instead of you defeated 30 enemies or something? They don't normally, like, uh, re-emphasize the goal of the thing after you beat it. I didn't think anyways. Maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. Got my head in the clouds here. Is that the midnight fabric? That's awesome. Oh my god, I'm gonna go put that on my wall right now. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm gonna do it. And you're going to watch me. Because it'll bring up a nice little uh, segue into this next point I'm doing. Well, I guess it's not even a segue. It's just something I can show you guys. Because I actually have been doing a little bit of stuff off screen in this game. And it's nothing big. It's not like I'm 
practicing or anything, because this is still technically a blind run at this point. But, uh, I've actually decorated this place a little bit, as you can see. It's absolutely crazy. It's just like, it's a big clutter thing of just whatever I thought would look kind of cool. And I'm going to change the layout now, actually, because I want to put that Med Knife fabric up, because that's awesome. I think it's totally going to clash with everything else, but oh well. Uh, so where is it? Is it going to be an other simple pattern? I have no idea where it's going to be. What's the problem with this? There's really no way to figure it out. Um, there it is. Okay, sweet. And I'll save that. <laughs> that looks so stupid, but oh well. It's Med Knight, so it's awesome. I, I sound so kiddy when I say that, though. It's Med Knight, so it's awesome! Ugh. Like, pff, dude. Uh, I guess I'm kiddy, though, anyways. I'm always going to be a kid at heart. I mean, I'm playing a Kirby game, for God's sake. Alright, so I guess back to Beadrix now. Uh, I don't want to get into another slump of doing mini games, but I actually kind of like these Beadrix ones. I know before I probably said that I really didn't like them, just because it's kind of, like, what's the point? But, I don't know, the point is to amuse yourself, I guess, and it is pretty amusing. Someone did comment before, and, uh, God, I wish I could remember your name. It's like Dra Draco something. 250 bees in 30 seconds. Crap. Yeah, it's Draco something. Oh my god! It's Prince Fluff! That's so hilarious! It's like sand art, except it's bead art. Sand art. Sand art? That's not sand art at all, but whatever. Yeah, but it was like X Draco something. I think I don't know. All I know is that in Polo replied to your comment about it too, and uh, and it was something about like there's a there's a Beedrick stage later on. I'm gonna lose this. I think I just barely got it at the end there too. I don't even know. I feel like there's just barely 250 beads in this stage. Yeah, but you said there was one that's really hard later on. It's going to take me like four days to complete it. Well, you know what I say? I say bring it on, man. Because I am up for a challenge. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been able to tell from my previous experiences on this channel, but I am quite the challenge whore. Just about, like, everything. I, I love challenges in games. Just doing things in games that no one's ever done before. Like that whole cloudless run of a fluffy bluff. That was so fun. I think I'd do this better if I didn't use that parachute power. Yeah, look at this. I have ample time to spare here, even. Well, if I can stop being stupid. Oh, yeah, you do need to get every one of those beads. Okay. Yay, success! Victorious! I need to stop stealing catchphrases, I tell you what. I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. Yeah, stealing another one there. And I always steal it from the same guy. So, jeez. Uh, is that the... I don't even know. The Bitter Cocoa Fabric? Oh my, that's horrible. <laughs> How do you make Bitter Cocoa? I don't even want to know anymore. Fountain Gardens. Oh, we're up to four star difficulties. Wasn't this the very first level in the game, Fountain Gardens? Or am I thinking of something else? No, Patch Castle was the first level in the game. But this was like the first level in, uh... In the first world, in the first actual world, 200 beads in 20 seconds? No problem. Of course, I say that now, and just watch me take like three hours to do this or something stupid. Man, this is fun. Just following a nice little structured path here. Crap! I knew I was going to fail that jump too. Oh my god, how are you supposed to do this? I like barely got up to above 100 there, I think. I, I wasn't even looking, really. Is there enough beads there to... Crap. Do I have to get every single one of those beads? That's going to be a pain in the ass if I do. And you know what? I probably do, too. A pain in the whole ass. Oh, that's not going to make any sense to anyone unless I upload that, uh... Galaxy Part 11 before this. But... Alright, there we go. I think I do have to get every single one of these beads. Of course, I don't know. I missed, I missed like two there, so we'll see. Crap. Why is that guy in the way every time? I wish I could still see my bead counter just to see if I do need to pick up all of them. Oh, I've just... Is that a monkey there? 
I swear I saw like an enemy that I've never seen before in my life just hanging there. Just hanging out in the very first level of the game, practically. Alright, attempt number three at this. I don't know if this is going to become a montage or not, so I might as well just start numbering my attempts every time I start a new one, right? Right. Alright, this ain't so bad so far. Oh god. Well, that was stupid, though. And this is really stupid, too, because I'm missing, and I... Okay, I just start that over, man. O-B, O-B. B-O, B-O. I, saw, I always thought it was the most hilarious thing in the world that Barack Obama's initials are B.O. I thought I was the most clever kid in the world when I realized that. I thought that no one else would realize it, and it was just going to be me. <sighs> Which is funny, because I'm not even an American. But of course, I was far from the only one to realize it. <sighs> like, I don't know why, I don't even know who didn't realize it. Just no one thought it was that funny, which it's not. It's just stupid. Okay, I did it. You don't need to collect all the beads, because I know I missed, like, one or two back there. That's cool. Yeah, there is something up there. There's, like, a Waddle D hanging from the roof. Up on the roof! Oh, there's no other Beadrick stages yet? Well, that kind of saddens me. I don't know. Thanks a lot, Kirby. That was really fun. A brick wall fabric. That's awesome. Oh, just the brick fabric. Okay. Because sometimes the simplest things are the best in life, right? Clear Wispy's Forest to play this. Is that the first level in Dreamland? I'd imagine it must be, otherwise it probably wouldn't tell me the level name there. Well, regardless, we're going to go ahead and, uh... I think that was the last minigame for now, so let's go back to Spaceland. And head to Outer Rings. I'm up to like 26 minutes here, though, so... This is probably going to be a new video that's starting right about now. Just but based on whatever. Depends on how much I cut out of that of that failure in those mini games. I've been cutting out, cutting out a lot more of that lately of just all my failures, just because I don't know if anyone really needs to see all that. Because there's a point where it becomes kind of just excessive. All right. Oh, I love this music. Oh boy. Oh, here we go again with the whole Space Invader Galaga thing. Oh, this is awesome. I can't wait. I hope the whole level's like this. Well, maybe not with these meteors, but it probably is going to be with these meteors. <sighs> Take what you can get, right? Wow, that thing takes a lot of damage. A lot of heavy damage. Oh my god, when I get back to challenge Sunday, someday I'm totally going to make this a challenge to see like how many beads you can get in this stage or something. Try and get the maximum amount of beads. Oh, there's two of them! Oh, crap! Alright. Oh, there was a patch in that guy. Oh, yeah, I'm looking out for treasures and stuff, too. I didn't even realize. Oh, my God. I hope I don't have to, like, destroy a certain amount of them to, like, unlock certain treasures as I progress here. There's things there in the background. I see them behind. Oh, my God. That's scary. They just, like, pop out of the background of... Out of the fabric of space-time. It's like they're just hiding behind the dark matter. The Saturn stand. Boing, boing. The rings around the planet on the stand glow only at night. <laughs> cool. Well, how do you know? They might glow during the day, and it's just so bright that you can't see it. Of course, if it was overcast, then I guess you'd be able to tell, but... Whatever. That's just me talking about reality now. Me talking about reality in a game made of yarn. How great. You know what would have been so funny is if the game disc was made of yarn, too. That would be awesome. Of course, they could never really pull... Well, they probably could. Somehow, I don't even know. I probably missed a treasure there. I feel like I did. I th feel like I was supposed to destroy all of those spaceships in order to... How am I not hitting anything? Okay, I just hit all of them all, like, at once there. <laughs> I, like, missed them for, like, five... I, I, like, missed every chance I had until the very end, and then I hit all of them at the very end. That was kind of fun. Oh, God! At least they give you plenty of opportunity to pick up your, uh... Beads if you... I was about to say star chips. If you miss them. Or if you get... If they get knocked away. Crap, I'm getting, I'm getting slaughtered here. What is this, general slaughter of rat race? Oh, that's a treasure. Okay. Saturn donuts. These mysterious donuts sure smell like they're out of this world. That sounds like something a Mr. Saturn would make, Saturn donuts. Maybe they do. I would eat those. Oh my god, so many meteors. Oh, there's a big one here too. Still missing the music disc. And gold, and the gold medal for that matter. I had gold for a second, and now I do again. But I'm going to lose it here, probably. 
Because look how freaking many meteors there are. What is this? Is this an actual boss? Like a mini boss? Is it Spore Spawn? Oh my god, that's hilarious. It's like a combination of Spore Spawn and Fantoon. I love it. It's got like the body shape of Spore Spawn. Oh, it's a, it's a cloud. It's cl is it Cloud Man? Is it Giga Lakitu? Is it Lack Lester? I don't even know. There's just so much boss nostalgia. I guess at some point you have to stop comparing it to other bosses and just realize, oh, it's a boss of its own. So, there you go. I wonder what this guy's name is. I'm gonna call him Spiky Poof. Just because that's hilarious. It reminds me of something that Simon would say. Oh god! Oh, did I beat him? Sweet. And I got the Outer Rings music hidden in the f cloud debris. And I actually got the gold medal, too, before we even getting to this bonus wheel. That was actually a really fun level. I might just go back and do that just because, someday. Do you ever have that, where there are like certain levels in video games that you just kind of want to go back to just for the hell of it? Just to experience it again? Like, you don't want to play through the whole game and do it? Which is kind of a pain in the ass if the level is like really late in the game and you don't have, and you don't have like a complete save file or something. But you just want to go there. I have that with some get with like some levels in games, and that's gonna be one of them now. But I just want to go back to it. another one is a frigid fjords in this game actually. Another one is actually believe it or not, Surf City and Battletoads. That's a really fun level. So is Intruder Excluder. Um, how much time do I have left on my recording on my hard drive? I have to change windows here now. Twenty minutes. Okay, I better stop now. Otherwise, I'm not going to have enough space to even render this on my hard drive, so... Uh, whether this video gets cut short or if it's, a, if it's a long video, I'm not even going to be sure about that until I edit it. But, thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.